Hey friends, it's Mel. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm bringing you three very easy Christmas treats that you could whip up in no time with very few ingredients. You could do it alone or with your kids or grandkids. The first thing that we're going to make today is Rolo pretzels. The first thing I'm going to do is spray my pan with some nonstick spray and put my parchment paper on top of it and press it. It will help it adhere to the pan so that it won't be sliding around when you're trying to work on it. First thing you do is lay out all of your pretzels on your baking sheet. You don't want them to be too close together because the caramel and chocolate is going to smush out a little bit. So step two is just to take the Rolos and put them on top of the pretzels. You can buy the Rolos in this bag here that makes it a whole lot easier. And you're going to put these in a 250 degree oven for about three to five minutes. You're just looking for them to get shiny and begin to soften up but not be fully melted. So when you get them out, you'll have to work rather quickly. You're just taking a pretzel and pressing it down into the melted Rolo just long enough that it can kind of make the chocolate and the caramel smush through it a little bit. Now you could take a big pecan and push that down into the chocolate, or you could even take the festive red and green M&Ms and push that down. But my girls just like the Rolos and the pretzels. This is a wonderful little sweet and salty treat. Now we're just going to make some chocolate dipped marshmallows. Of course I'm starting out with my tray sprayed and my wax paper adhered to that and I have a tray of melting chocolate that I've just heated in the microwave. You just follow the directions on the package for that and you just need a big bag of marshmallows. Of course you don't want the mini marshmallows, you need the big ones for this and you just dip the ends of them. You could put these on a skewer and cover the whole things, but this is just how we like to do them. We think they're cute like this. It's a lot of fun. I had to get my hands in it too. <laughs> I like making these little quick and easy treats just as much as the kids do, even though my kids are now young ladies. So we're just gonna fill up our tray with the chocolate dipped marshmallows. The next step is going to be sprinkles. So I have this can of assorted sprinkles. I want to use the colorful ones in it. I don't think the sugar crystals show up that well on it, but I just sprinkled some out into that little bowl and me and Maddie have just covered all the pretzels. You need to work kind of quick if you do the whole tray like we did. Um, so that they will still adhere, but look how cute those little treats are. Now we're going to do some chocolate covered graham crackers. And once again, I have my tray sprayed and another piece of paper down there adhered. And I have just using that same tray of melting chocolate and I've taken graham crackers and tried to break them in half. And I'm just covering in the chocolate and then going to lay them over here on the tray. Now these are not going to break perfectly even, mine didn't, but that's okay. You will see this is definitely not a neat standardized looking treat. And this is the icing that I ordered and you can see the holes are much bigger. I really wanted like a very thin, just almost like a splattered look to these. so. These holes were just not going to achieve that. So I tried putting just a little bit in a uh, baggie and just make like a pin prick to see how little of a piping I could get, but it just it wasn't going to work. So I decided to put some of this decorator icing in the microwave and just, you know, 30 seconds 
heat it up in there, stir it around, and just sort of drizzle it across the top. Well, that worked good for about the first 10 seconds. This cookie decorating icing would just harden up and stick to the spoon so quickly. But I would just take that bowl right back to the microwave, get it good and hot again, and then go at it <laughs> another time. So that is what I did. And I did this with the white and the red and the green icing. Uh, you'll see on in here that I did try with the little green tube. I thought, well, maybe this one would squirt out like I want, but it didn't. And you know, this is fine. I left this in here so that you will see sometimes things don't work out like we planned. And that is okay. Christmas is really not about all the cookies and all the treats and all the things that we do. That's just a really fun part of spending time together with your family and making memories. We know Christmas is when we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. All of these extra things that we do, they're fun and they're memory making and they're festive, but it's not the true meaning of the season. I have thoroughly enjoyed all the years when my kids were little, making these little quick and easy treats. And you know, they didn't even care what they looked like. They just wanted to be with me doing something. We put so many unrealistic expectations on ourselves to make things perfect and honestly our kids don't care if things are perfect our husbands don't care if things are perfect we just don't need to worry so much enjoy this Christmas season take it easy on yourself and give yourself a break from unrealistic expectations and just enjoy the season and enjoy your family celebrate the birthday of Jesus make memories and enjoy the time together you'll see these things are looking really bad about right here <laughs> but I will say when I get it finished with them I really think they're fine. I just wanted an abstract look to them. Once I got them up off of this and put them on the plate, I really think they look kind of cute and they are delicious. Every one of these treats are yummy and they're easy. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to turn on your bell notifications because I will have lots of other quick and easy and delicious Christmas content coming up for you. Some nice savory treats as well. But friends, I do want to wish you a Merry Christmas. And as always, I appreciate you watching so much. And I want you to enjoy this Christmas, celebrate the true reason for the season. And until I see you next time, I send you love from my kitchen.